How are we doing, guys? Let's take a crack at an Arch Linux-based distro called Archcraft. Now, I was pretty surprised to not have heard of this before, but it looks like a butte. It's supposed to be pretty minimal, fast, and going by these screenshots, pretty gorgeous. So straight off the bat, I can see a real attention to detail with the UI. Normally I would just go straight into the install, but I can't help myself. So having a bit of a look at the live CD UI. Just the selection of the wallpaper color scheme of the top bar and the icons, they all fit together so well. This is Openbox window manager, by the way, which is very minimal, but I'm very impressed already. So changing a style seems to change everything from the application to the open box menu, to the wallpaper, to the actual positioning of elements. It's not just a simple swapping of some colors. I'm really liking this light color scheme. Okay, so enough foreplay. Let's get into the install. Now Archcraft comes with two installers and I've opted for the more graphical version of the two. I like to take the easy route when possible. So full disclosure, this is my second attempt at the install. I usually do a dry run on a VM on my regular Lenovo laptop, but I kept running into display issues. This is my MacBook, which has weirdly handled it much better so far. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I have heard this distro is not as robust as some, and it might not be daily driver material, but let's see how things go. Also, if you would like to support the one-man team behind Archcraft, head over to archcraft.io. The entire system feels like a real labor of love. Okay, so after what was a reasonably longer time than what I'm normally used to, the installation is done. So let's reboot and have a proper look at this distro. So here we are, the general look of the system looks very slick. We have this top bar with some nice little widgets, workspace switcher, date, storage, and memory. Lots of good stuff. They are not particularly useful though. For example, the date widget doesn't show a calendar and so on. There's a nice little audio player here though. It seems a lot of it is more about looking cool, but overall it's a good experience. We have a little search app here. I think it's called Roffy. It seems to open up when you click the Archcraft menu. That feels a bit weird because I clicked there. I would expect it to be a menu of some sort as opposed to opening up in the middle of the screen like that. You can also open it up via a super key though, so it's not a big issue. The settings app seems to be XFCE based. They have a Thunar icon as well, and it would make sense to use XFCE to stay minimal and lightweight. The terminal is Alacrity, which I've heard good things about, even though I have not used it much myself. It certainly looks nice. This being open box, however, I think the menu is the star of the show. It looks nice and is very comprehensive. It also looks like a lot of work has gone into it and kudos to the dev on that. Wow guys, the themes however are clearly the star of the show. It feels like everything has been custom made to fit in so well. I mean, check out how the menu highlight matches the color of the sky in this wallpaper.
I think this light theme is by far my favorite. The menu icons look really good. So do the icons used on Thuna. One thing I noticed is that changing the theme resets the font size you set, which can be annoying if you are an older gentleman like myself and need to up the readability. A nice little addition is that the menu contains links to the config file to modify itself. Very cool. So let's open it up and test it out. Let's change the labels from the generic name to the actual application title, like Thunar or Firefox. We will probably need to restart Openbox before it shows the change, and that can also be done quite easily from the menu. So apart from the styles, which are sort of like skins that change the overall look of the distro, Archcraft also comes with heaps of other individual tweaks. Application color schemes and icons, this tool is of course the default XFCE appearance manager, but a lot of skins have been loaded up. I mean, this list is gigantic. In fact, it's probably accurate to say that the main focus of the distro is customizing the look of the distro. Archcraft comes with a number of really, really nice wallpapers. And as I said, each of them are nicely matched to a specific theme. There's a lot to like with that. Now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of installed applications straight out of the box. There are a large number of UI tweak tools. So if ricing is your thing, then you will be in heaven. If not, and you are newer to Linux, this might be a tricky distro. To install new applications, you will need to go into the terminal and also you might miss there not being an office suite included. So let's summarize while we look at a very pretty and slick Thuna file browser. Now I did run into a few display bugs. Changing monitor resolutions can cause some issues, especially if you use the XFCE display tool rather than the open box menu. It's almost like Openbox doesn't know the resolution changed. And a few other issues like menus and widgets that are more about form than function. If you want an OS that is about getting something else done, like gaming or programming or even just a desktop, then I don't think I can recommend Archcraft. If you like spending hours on making your desktop look gorgeous, maybe even using it as a secondary distro, then it becomes a lot easier to like Archcraft. For my part, I will definitely spend a lot of time with it. Until next time.